That's my choice. What I need to be free. Hey there, everybody. My name is Jacqueline, and my trail name is RVA Hiker Girl. I am a long distance backpacker and hiker. I also tent camp and solo car camp. I recently did a video on solo car camping and I had information on there what gear I used, how to stay warm and how to stay safe and the response was overwhelming. I had 60,000 views on that and it's still climbing and everyone was asking me to do more videos so this is my second one. So on this video today I wanted to go over five pieces of gear that I'm currently using that I thought might be helpful to you five tips and hacks that I use around the campsite to make things a lot more easier and five food items that I always carry with me in my car or when I'm traveling to make things a lot more simple. All right, let's go look at my setup and let's get started. All right, so the very first piece of gear I wanted to show you is this tent that you can leave the hatch open on your SUV and it attaches and then you have all this extra space to change clothes. You can sleep in there if you want to and it's by Napier Sports and man, I have really been enjoying this tent. Let me open it up and I'll take you inside to show you what it looks like. By the way, it is 93 degrees today. It is a scorcher, so I'm trying to stay in the shade while I'm doing this video with you guys. All right, so I don't have the tent staked down, which is why it looks like that in the front, because I'm on like a gravel surface, but that's what it looks like with the door open. And I do not have the rain fly on because it's so hot and it's not supposed to rain, so I wanted some ventilation. But there is a window right here on the left, and you can zip up all the windows for privacy and there is a window on the right. And then there are two skylights up at the top for more ventilation. And let me step in. And yeah, so you see how it goes right over the hatch. And it also has a screen that I have right down here and it has a cover just like the other windows so you can zip this completely up so you're completely private inside your car if you want to and this is how it fits on the side so you can see it fits kind of snug so no bugs are going to come in and it does the same thing up at the top of the car all right so i'm laying in the tent and you can see how open and how much room that you have and you can get right out of the back of the car and you have all of this amazing space and ventilation going on yeah so that's the number one piece of gear right now that I'm absolutely loving is this Napier hatchback tent second piece of gear is this hay trip mattress and the reason why I like this mattress is it takes up all of the back of my car and it's custom fit for my 2020 Ford Escape. It, they can custom fit it for any of your vehicles. Notice how it's wider up at the top than it is down in the bottom. You need more space up at the top, like for your arms and shoulders, but then it gets more narrow as you get down here. And if you only wanted to blow up one side whew, as I'm sweating, you can only blow up one side and fold the other underneath of it. And so you have that extra space. So basically, if you only wanted to blow up one side, then you have all the other side of your car and pretend like this side is deflated, right? So it would just be one layer, but look how much space that you have. So I am really liking this mattress right now. The third piece of gear that I am loving right now is this, oh, that feels so good. This UST gear fan. It has two speeds. It's actually a light as well. And 
you can just, I have put it just down here where I'm sitting in a chair and it blows. And I've also hung it inside of the car. And when you're laying there sleeping at night and you have the breeze blowing through the screens of the window, it just takes the stillness of the air and just adds just a little bit of breeze. And you have low or high that you can use it on. And in the summertime, does that feel good? The fourth piece of gear that is just invaluable to me is this Coleman propane stove. I don't have the gas hooked up yet because it's somewhere in my car, but this hooks right into here and you put your propane uh, right there. And I make so much stuff, fajitas, grilled cheeses, you name it, eggs. It's just coffee heating up hot water. It's just invaluable. It folds down, collapses and stores flat and it is perfect. And the fifth piece of gear that I've really loved using is this Otzi mini grill. And last night I made a grilled vegetable sandwich that was just to die for. It had grilled zucchini, grilled squash, grilled avocado with spinach, tomato and tzatziki sauce on grilled sourdough bread. And it's great to roast marshmallows with, and it's also really good just to have a fire pit. If you don't want to build a big fire and you just want something small to help keep the bugs away or to keep warm, it's great for that as well. So one of my number one favorite hacks when you don't have running water at camp is to take a spray bottle with water and then take another spray bottle with a soapy solution. That way you could spray it on your hands with the soap, spray it off with the water, and you have an instant hand washing station. You could also use this to spray on a washcloth and wash your face if you wanted to. But what I really like doing is spraying my dishes, spraying it with a soapy solution, and spraying it off and then wiping the dishes clean. That way they get clean right after I eat them and there's no food residue that's stuck on there. So really this is has been a lifesaver. The second hack or trip, trip, tip, tip that I have is getting yourself a little kitchen sink. So this right here is collapsible and I wash my dishes it stores down, I got water in there from where I was just doing the dishes, but it stores flat. And this is also from UST gear and they have bigger ones as well. But I love how easy it is and that you could just put all your dirty dishes in there, clean it up and just throw the water out. So both of these things invaluable for me at camp. All right, my third hack or tip, especially in the warmer months, is having citronella torches or little lanterns. I've got three of them going. I don't know if you can really see the smoke or not in the screen, but that's all it takes just to create just a little bit of smoke to help keep the bugs, the flies, the mosquitoes away. And make sure you keep them far enough away from your tent or your car or your gear so it doesn't burn a hole in them. But yeah, they're small, whoops, they're small to have and they store up really easy. I think these were like $2.50 a piece at Walmart, so you can't beat it. All right, the fourth hack for you is to get one of these foam mats. This is actually a backpacking sleeping mat. Thermarus makes them. This one happens to be Nemo. It's an accordion, so it folds up really small and it helps take out the angle from where you put your seats down to the back. And I usually put two of them. I only have one up right now. So that's the fourth act. The fifth one is to take yourself a lint roller brush. I always have one. And then you can use it to clean up your car, whether it's the back of the seats, whether it's the carpet. And it's just a really quick tool to help keep your car clean in a hurry. On to my five favorite food items. 
that are non-perishable for a good length of time that I always carry when I'm car camping. Um, the first one is peanut butter. So this is my favorite peanut butter. It's peanut butter and company. This one is the dark chocolate dreams, but the other that is my favorite is white chocolate wonderful. You could put this on crackers. You could make a uh, wrap with um, a PB&J wrap with granola or banana. I mean, you could dip apples in peanut butter. Like this isn't gonna go bad. So this is always a staple for me, especially during this time of the year when it's really hot. I always have liquid IV, these right here. And I'm a backpacker so and a hiker, so these, when I get really hot like today and I'm not drinking a lot of water, I will put one of these in my water and it just, I drink it so fast, which is good. That's what you want when you're hot, is to drink a lot of water. The third thing I always carry are pouch mixes. And I have so many different ones that I carry. So pouch applesauce. This one happens to be a Noka nut butter smoothie, strawberry and peanut butter. That's always good. This one's 170 calories. And I know a lot of people don't, don't like this idea, but I've eaten baby food my whole entire life out of these pouches and especially bananas because bananas brew so easy when you're carrying them in your car and you're traveling around with them but you can just pop one of these in in your bag and you're eating bananas this is another one banana blueberry oatmeal and they're cheap they're in your baby food section and they're not going to go bad so they're another great thing to have um if you're not tired of pouch meats, one of my favorite right now is pulled pork. This is from Walmart. I put this in mashed potatoes on wraps. It's a sweet barbecue and it is amazing. And then chicken salad uh, in a pack, again with crackers on a wrap on sourdough bread, grilled up with veggies is really good. And then your tuna. I mean, you could put this in Alfredo and any kind of pasta or ramen that you cook. It's just always nice to have these handy. And the last things that I always have are some sort of dried meat. So I'm not a big beef eater, so I'm not gonna have beef jerky, but uh, there's hardly any of this left because I eat so much of it. But this is boar's head turkey pepperoni. And regular pepperoni tends to give me heartburn, but the turkey pepperoni does not. And this is a great snack. You can make a pizza at your campsite if you want, really easy on the cast iron skillet with maybe like pita bread and some tomato sauce. But I just eat the, the pepperoni right out of the pack. What my favorite thing is right now are these kids, little chicken and maple sausages. They come in these little packs and you just, tear it right off and you can put it in your pack if you want to go hiking or whatever. These things are so tasty. I literally could eat all five at once. They are so good. Something that I've loved and had for years is this Simple True Turkey Bacon. It's already fully cooked. Let me open it up. I'll show you how it comes. It comes in a pack of two and all you do is cut it in half and you can put it on a wrap. So look, it comes like that. You just cut a line right down the middle. There's five slices in here. And like I said, it's already pre-cooked. I mean, this will stick around like for a long time. I put this on wraps. I will just eat it straight out of the pack in the morning. So I don't have to cook maybe with my oatmeal to have some turkey bacon. And they make regular bacon, pork bacon. But again, for some reason, I've just been on a turkey kit. And this is my favorite. So. Anyway, hopefully this gives you some ideas of some food items that you can carry with you that won't go bad and won't break the bank. I had to come down and show you what's right directly across from my campsite where I am camping at tonight. This is the beautiful James River in the upper Appalachian Mountains in Virginia. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed these ideas of five pieces of gear that I am enjoying using five tips or hacks, and five food ideas. If you have any ideas that you want to contribute that maybe other people can go through and read the comments and use this video as a resource to help others, 
who want to get out there and adventure on their own, please do so. My last video, I was just overwhelmed by how many comments and likes that it got. So I'm doing these to try to help others as much as I possibly can. Anyway, be sure to follow me on Instagram as I post pictures just about every day of all my solo car camping adventures, hiking, backpacking, kayaking. I'm going to be doing some kayaking. My a friend's borrowing my kayak right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.